Acting Vicky here with you and we're here for day number six of the 30 inks 30 days so yesterday was this beautiful ultra black which had an amazing chromatography love that love 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 that so today we're here with a diamine ink it's the little Maddie and it's a grayish bluish color <laughs> That's the best I can describe it. Um, it's a gray, but then there's blue in it. And I'm doing something that I don't do usually, and it's pairing it with this pen, which is, I just love this pen so much. So, so much. This is my only uh, Koweko Art Sports, and it's in the Tiger Eye, and it's a double broad. And I just love the color of this pen so much I fell in love with it and it was my reward to myself for doing my income tax return because <laughs> I hate doing that with passion and so when I finished them I rewarded myself with this little guy and uh, it was worth the pain of doing the taxes the tax return So let's ink it up. I figured, you know, like there's, uh, anyway, I, it's this kind of a neutral color. That's what I'm going with. And that's why I'm putting it in that pen. Because usually I would have put a yellow or um, why is it not picking up the ink? Okay. I guess I didn't put it deep enough, but I didn't want it to be all dirty. So yeah, it's it's a kind of a neutral color, so I figured it would look good in this little guy. And I'm loving the fact that they're small, they're very small converters so having fun with the different inks so we'll start off the chromatography and you can see that this is a double broad because of how much ink did this guy put out like it's yeah a lot and again I put it too high second day in a row okay so we've got it going Let's put this into the syringe and hopefully not put it everywhere. And I don't think I had closed it properly when I shaked it up like that. That could have been a disaster in the making. Okay, so I think I have enough. I'm very stingy with with this. This is so strange because it's looking green. And I didn't have enough to do a proper splat. Like that. Okay, it's really looking green on this. Which is very strange because it didn't look green at all on that paper. Well, maybe it's my eyes, I don't know. We will see when I put this down. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking kind of greenish. This is so strange. And it's the same, same ink. So, I don't know. Now, let's do the little X. Oh, 
and you can see how wet that is. Okay, so we'll put this aside. Yeah, it's when it's it's it looks greenish, but then when it dries, it dries more bluish. So yeah, it's a strange it's a strange color to describe. Okay, so bring it down. Well, not so much, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so today we're using diamine, and I should put something underneath because this is really wet. This is a really wet pen and I don't know if it's gonna do like the Blue Lagoon. So let's protect the next page. So it's Diamine Coke Pen Little Wow, see? Little muddy. It's really juicy to be put on the in a double broad. So yeah, need to write quickly. So June. 6, 2021, 20, and I'm using my Coeco Art Sport Tiger Eye with a double broad nib. Okay, so then we're doing Dr. Seuss. A, B, C, and we're doing big F, little F. And you can see a feathering. So this paper doesn't like the double broad, but it's funny because it depends on the ink. The first day was fine. It's really flowing. This is my first time inking it. And uh, yeah, it's very, very juicy. Very, very juicy. And you didn't see any of that last part. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's the problem with, with when I do the uh, close up. So you can see that there's a lot of feathering. Um, there's some here going on. And obviously this is like a huge, but it's like there's in here too. But this one was like a big gloop that just came out. So because it's so, 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 so juicy. Like, yeah, very, very juicy. And you can tell, like, look at the back. It only did a few spots though. It didn't go all the way through, like unlike um, unlike our friend uh, here, Aqua Lagoon, that went all the way through. But look at the difference, because this is a double broad as well, and it's not reacting the same way at all. So, yeah, different inks, different reaction different pens too because obviously the pen makes a difference even though it's the same brand and everything sometimes they don't act the same 
and wow that chromatography that's like yeah very impressive so it's like bit of a gray and then it becomes red and yellow and then blue what it's very very surprising colors in, in this loving that okay so let's look at the comparatives so I pulled out all I could find that was close but the but the one I did find that I, I think is really close as you can see here it looks it looks grayish but there's some blue in it definitely and you can tell in the chromatography that obviously there's some blue in there so so yeah so I pulled out my the cult blue the Robert Oster cult blue and I thought it was very similar I know that this one is darker but you can still see that there's a lot of it's, it's very similar and then I pulled out this one which is colorverse under the, the shade and that one reminded me of it too but it's a lot pale more pale than than this one and you can see like this one has a lot more blue because obviously it's a blue and like it really is close I have pulled out the Lamy crystal ink agate you can see that's not at all close and you can't see it so that's brilliant okay see this one is the, the Lamy crystal uh, agate so not at all the same then you've got the stone gray which from Faber Castell doesn't look at all the same either there's the Krishna pencil um, it could maybe for the like the little pale part here which would make it look a little bit like this but I mean and then I pulled out the uh, Jacques Herbin the série uh, 1670 degree orage and I thought it has some similar colors but this one definitely has a lot more blue in it so it's a very complex ink <laughs> clearly as you can see from the chromatography um, so very very interesting I hope that you found this interesting as well I love what it did on the Tomo River paper Look at that, like here the big splodge, it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So I'm going to have fun writing with it and, and I'm thinking that it's going to go well together, even though, <laughs> even though it's not, my pen is not a gray, but then this is not a gray either, so it's kind of a, and when you put them together on the page, it looks quite good together actually makes it looks like there is a lot of brown in it it's very strange very strange ink uh, depending I guess on the paper and, and everything so hope you found this interesting um, looking forward to reading your comments and see you tomorrow bye